on the dining. Something special, I guess. <laughs> Remember, today is our fifth year wedding anniversary. <laughs> hey, what's the problem? Honey, what is that to celebrate, huh? Five years after our wedding and still no child. Huh? What have you done wrong to God? Haven't we been patient enough? Here she goes again. Come on, Debbie. God will surely fulfill his promises concerning us. He has said that none shall miscarry or be barren. He also said to you, Debbie, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. I know. Mm. Honey, but have you ever bothered about what people out there are saying? Huh? Not to talk about your family and even your mother. Huh? Honey, on a daily basis we pray for people, several people, and they go out there with testimonies. Big testimonies. Huh? Honey, something is definitely wrong somewhere. Nothing is wrong anywhere. Debbie, we will have a wrong child. Remember. The expectations of the righteous can never be cut short. Look, darling, I understand how you feel. But have faith. God will never let us down. He cares about us. Hmm? Come on, it's okay. Let's go have fun on our anniversary. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. That reminds me, darling. Mama called last night. She'll be coming by the weekend. <laughs> My God. This is that trouble for me now. Debbie. We all know why she's coming. Debbie, I have told you to leave that. I will handle Mama. You're not God that gives children. Richie, you don't know what I'm going through. Do you know what kind of pressure I am under from your mom, from people out there, the press, even the common man on the street? I drive by or walk by and then they turn to me and say, that is Pastor Richie's wife. They pray for barren women to get pregnant and then they get pregnant and they still don't have a child. Do you know how very painful that is? Do you know how much that hurts? Do you know how deep, Darling, it's deep all right. that is? It's alright, it's okay. But remember the word. When Leah was barren, God opened her womb. Today the same God shall see you through in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Just believe it, the gate will surely come to pass. I sure. 
Hello. Yes. Take it easy. Your address, please. Okay, I'll be right there. What was that? A church sister. Her younger sibling is vexed with a demon. Excuse me. Tony. Yes, Pastor. What happened? My kid sister. She's vexed with a demon. Take me to her. What's her name? Ruth. Ruth. My son for the blood of Jesus. Ruth. Can you hear me? I am talking to you, Ruth. Ruth, I want you to listen to me. Lord, your wisdom, the peculiar person, today the Lord shall call you out of this darkness into his marvelous light in Jesus' name. No! No! Arise! No! 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 Arise for your salvation is come. Arise! Arise! Arise!
You can untie her. Mm -hmm. um, Pastor, is she <laughs> Victory is ours. Untie her, let her take a bath, then get her something good to eat. You abandoned me for over two weeks, not even a phone call. Honestly, I'm not happy with you. Oh, my sweetheart, I'm sorry. It's just that I've been very busy. Too busy to even call your sweetheart. It's obvious you don't like me. Says who? Uh -huh. Nico, <clears throat> I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I have a pick? Mm. On my forehead. On my lips. Let me not call that your mom for you. Okay. They're coming. Mm -hmm. He's anointed. Ah. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mommy, my greetings. You're welcome, Pastor. Thank you very How much. How are you? We thank God. <laughs> Pastor Richie. Sir. The Lord has indeed made you a useful tool to his ministry. <laughs> Today, our ministry has become the front page of every newspaper. Because he has anointed you to set the captives free. Use it rightly. Thank you, sir. Pastor Richie, temptation will surely come. But the power to overcome, you must pray for. Remember, a man's foes shall be of his own household. Therefore, put on the whole armor of God so as to be able to withstand the wiles of the enemies. Pastor, you must avoid women. They are a shortcut to a man's downfall. Women are like sheep in appearance, but right inside them, they are wolves. Remember, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And before honor, is humility. You are blessed. Uh, come with me. Decide to bless me with this as a kid. Use it wisely for the ministry. This for me. I'm, I'm short of words. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this star is beautiful. Jill, the almighty God shall replenish your pocket a hundredfold. Amen. Amen. His mercy and favor shall abide continuously in this family. Amen. Look, Nico, come on. Join me in thanking your parents. Parents, we thank you. <laughs> Nico. Oh, this, this is wonderful. Can I? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yes. He shows you so much love. Ah, we you know no <laughs> Once again, I thank you very much. I thank you. Do you really care about my feelings? Do you? Of course, Mama. You know I care about your feelings. Then get me a grandchild. Can't you see I'm getting no younger? I have paid you for God's sake. Give me a grandchild. Mama, I know exactly how you're feeling. But I want you to know that we're trying our best. Your best is not good enough. I know it's this for the gay thing that, is, that will not allow you and Richie to do it the way you're supposed to do it. Get me a grandchild. <sighs> mama. Don't mama me. Don't mama me. My message is running to every day. And I will take my actions when you don't expect me. Dad. Darling. <sighs> Darling. <sighs> mama. Mama, how are you? Fine, how is everybody in the village? Fine. Then, Mama, look, we must sing unto the Lord because He has dealt beautifully with us. He has blessed us with a brand new car. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Mama, what's going on here? Why isn't anyone happy? Why should I be happy? Rich, answer me! Why should I be happy? Is a car a child? What is it in a car to celebrate about? Give me a grandchild. I need grandchildren from you. Give me grandchildren. Mama, I want you to know that we are not God that gives children. We can only do our part and allow him do his at the right time. When is his right time? Is it what I did? My mind will not die or leave to carry our children. Your grandchildren. Amen. Well, I've spoken. By tomorrow, I shall be on my way home. I shall only return when I hear a cry of the baby in this house. That is all.
happening here? Aren't you guys happy to see your lovely and beautiful daughter Whitney back home? Whitney? What's all this? What, Dad? Your looks. It's called fashion, Dad. Please. Don't you realize the daughter of whom you are? Not again. I've been hearing that since I was 10. After all, they say righteousness is in the mind and not in one's dress code. Dress isn't taking to heaven, is it? Please. Before I open my eyes, walk straight into your room and remove those pretty dress. I don't want to see you in there anymore. Hi, Dad. I expected you to at least say welcome to your lovely daughter coming all the way from the state. I'm disappointed in all of you. Hey! Including you, Mom. Tell him that I'm old enough to take my position. Gosh, I'm hungry. Somebody should please get me food or something. I'm tired of all this. That was hot. Jesus. Just tell that. I don't want anybody taking this shot. Will you keep quiet? Get out of here! Sorry, Dad. Jesus Where is Mama? She's gone. I don't like the mood she was in this morning before she left. Don't worry, darling. Everything will be all right. I assure you that. Mama is right. Maybe we should go to the hospital and do a medical checkup. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay. Excuse me. Hello? Okay, I'll be right there. The same sister. I've got to go right away. Richie, mm. do you know you had the half time for me these days? Come on, darling. Why do you talk this way? You know I give you all the attention you need. Please, just permit me. It's the Lord's work. I just got a surprise dinner. 
a surprise dinner? Yes. Please come with me. What are all these for? Are you expecting a senator? Oh, no. You are the senator and the minister. Please have a seat. Thank you. Welcome. So, where is Ruth? Um, uh, Ruth, she will join us in a minute. Richie, I must confess. You look cute. And, um, you're kind of handsome too. Thank you. I wish God would bless me with someone like you. Thanks. I am not flattered. Flattered? No, you're not flattered. Not at all. You're all I need. See, your presence here is so dear to my heart. I've come to realize that life is worth living when you find something worth dying for. Tonya, I hope you realize I'm married. Which I know. I know all that. Thank you, Pastor. Ruth, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. I hope you're much better now. Yes, sir. Thank you. You see, your wife must be very lucky to have you. You do have a few aunts, don't you? <sighs> yeah, I used to. So, what happened? I, nothing much. I discovered I wasn't fit for the competition, so I quit. Oh, poor you. But don't worry. God will give you your own husband in his own good time. <laughs> um, let's, let's pray. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for this gift that you've given us. We pray that you continue to bless us bountifully as we partake of this gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Even in my living room. I, I didn't know you guys were coming home so soon, so um, I don't know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry about, sorry about it. Here, a drink, okay? She's in the car right now. I just came up here to collect the result of the test we did. Oh, I have a bit of a bad news for you. From the test we carried out, we discovered that her womb has been badly affected, thereby rendering her chances of getting pregnant below normal. Meaning? She may never be able to have a child again. Um, let me get you the result of it. No, no, forget about it. It's not our portion.
Darling, is there anything you're hiding from me? I'm so sorry for all that I have put you through. I never knew. I never knew that my past would come and haunt me at a time like this in my life. When I was 16, a teacher of mine impregnated me. I was so scared. I couldn't even tell my parents. The only option I had was to go for an abortion. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that affected my womb. God. God, I'm so sorry. Debbie, I'm talking to you. Why are you doing this? Richie. Please let me go. Are you alright? What are you talking about? Divorce me. I'm making a proposal to you to divorce me. Go and get a woman that can bear your fruit. Can't you see that I'm barren? Debbie, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Look, Debbie, none shall be barren in the land. Did God not promise to take away from you all sicknesses? I am no womb. My womb has been damaged. Debbie, this isn't you talking. The God that created you has, has a spare part for your body. And we'll install it when the time is right. <sighs> Debbie, I love you. I love you. Our marriage is for better, for worse. Nothing will ever separate us. Nothing. It's okay. Oh, get up and go to your room. Dad? 
Well, are you guys still awake? going to look like a, a prostitute at this time of the oh, night. Dad, come on. Must you use the word prostitute? Come on now. I demand an apology for that. That has not answered my question. All right. I am going to the club to ease up my stress and exercise my muscles on the dance floor. Is that okay with you? Oh, God, where are you? Huh? Now, before the count of two, you get back to your room or else. Oh, God, what is all these restrictions for? Honestly, I am sick, tired, bored, and getting irritated about this house. Can the child go out and have some fun whenever she pleases? Damn! Now just get my papers ready. I am leaving for the state. I can't take all of this. Over my dead body. Wait. Now get out before I spank your face. What is this? If I want to go out, don't go out. Why? Because of my preacher's daughter? Hey! hey. For you. Please, Richie, I can't control it. Richie, please, do with me whatever you want. Richie, please, melt into me. Richie, I can't wait to see it buried inside of me. I beg of you, Richie, please. Leave me alone. Are you all right? Richie, I'm all right, but I, I promise. No one is going to hear about this. Richie, please. Get yourself a husband! It's you I need, don't you understand? Richie, please, it's you. Please, it's you. Oh, get them behind me, Satan! About my car. It's back outside. Yeah. Uh, and what are your name? Kelly. Joseph. Yes. Hi, it's 
Miss Richie. Tell me, you're just too handsome for this job of pastor. How do you call? And no, 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 tell me you don't listen up sometimes. <laughs> do you have to think about that? Oh, Whitney, you're acting faster than you ought to <laughs> at this tender rate of yours. Tender? At 21? Jeez, I'm embarrassed. Look, Richie, I have seen a lot, experienced a lot, and besides, I started with an older man than you are. Whitney, you've known men? Of course. What do you call me? A child? Well, um, try me and see if you're not going to be lost in my sweetness. Because I'm going to take you to the height you've never, ever been before, baby. See, you having all the strength. You smoke? No, don't do this. This is a church. Of oh, I forgot. I totally forgot. Whitney, this is dangerous. Smokers are liable to die young. Oh, call that shot, okay? I have seen smokers live over a hundred years, and non-smokers die very young. Tell me another thing. Oh, Whitney, why are you doing this to yourself? Do you realize how beautiful and intelligent you are? Of course I know that. But I just can't help being attracted to you. I think I'm falling in love. Do you realize I'm married? Oh, what has that got to do with this? The important thing is that you feel for me and I feel for you. I don't feel for you. I'm a pastor. Don't worry, you come around. I know your type. Well, I guess I have to believe. I will see you soon. Since we came back from the service, you've been in a pensive mood. Debbie. Debbie, I, I need your prayer. Don't let me go. Pray ceaselessly for me. The temptations are just too much for me. But I know it's my duty to face them. Thank you. 
selfish and his grace is selfish and for me. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, you started again. Do you think tears make babies? Hmm. Richie, why? Why? I thought we were supposed to be closer to God now that we have this problem. Uh, what are you talking about? I just finished reading your text messages. Uh -huh. Do you have to go into my privacy? Richie. Oh, look, Debbie. It's really not like you think. I don't know any of these people sending me all these text messages. Believe me. But you have changed. Richie, you have totally changed. You know, you don't even pray as much as you used to anymore. These days, you take your phone calls secretly. How are you? Is daddy home? Yes, my wife is here. Would you like to say hi to her? Okay. I'll be right there. Bye. Whitney, Jill's daughter, they need my presence. Permitted? Oh, please, just be careful. There's no problem. No, there's no problem. <sighs> Come on in. Do you want to sit or something?
as soon as I have to eat. Okay. Office, uh, sorry, my wife is traveling tomorrow, so I've come here to do some shopping. Guess what, Pastor? My wife is pregnant after five years of marriage. <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Madam. Congratulations. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, Pastor. I had to go for a test, and I was confirmed not sterile any longer, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Look, this miracle shall be permanent in your life, and Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Look, let's let let's do something. Here. May the peace of the Lord continue to reign in our household in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In due course, you'll have the pattern of new feet in your house in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. Be blessed. Not a sex machine. Oh yeah, that's okay. Taking it too far. Mm. Just yeah. that I expected more from you, you know. Anyway, coming from a pastor, it's a good start. Yeah, okay. yeah, right. Whatever. So, Whitney, how large is he? You know, Christ, Pastor Richie, that man is large. Oh. When I mean large, I mean large. But trust me, I gave it to him like he has never heard it before, and he was asking. And grinding, <laughs> he started screaming, Jesus, 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 Lord, Lord. And I told to him, I said, Pastor Richie, thou shalt not call the name of the Lord in vain. And I said, Oh, all right, all right, we're not going to say that. <laughs> so tell me what happened afterwards. Promise me you're going to be sensitive to my feelings and my innermost yearnings. Hey, I said it. said it. I said it. Give a man. What he cannot find in his wife, right. and he will keep retiring yeah, yeah. over and over That's again, true. you know. <laughs> Pastor Richie, man, this is unbelievable, you know. Well, you know. No, with me, everything is possible, you know. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means I cannot wait to have my own share of the I cake. Mean, what is that? Come on, you bitches. I'm not going to share my man with you. What are what you saying? Mean, Come on, just, you have to keep up. 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 Give me a little bit. No, sir. The vigil is specially packaged for single brothers and sisters, and the Lord has promised to do great and mighty things. Uh, please, you do me a favor. 
ensure that uh, Whitney attends the program. She will, sir, by the special grace of God. And where is she going to? She's going to spend her meet and break out of Richie's place. And who did she seek permission from? Let her go. Just go. Bye bye, sir. Go. Mommy. Please do take care of her. Oh, I will. Are you enjoying the program? It's okay. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Tell me the truth, Nico. You have a boyfriend? Yes. He's such a nice person. I think I like him a lot, and I'm sure you like him too. Don't you think you're still too young to have a boyfriend? Too young. I am 17. Old and mature enough to take good care of myself. Besides, I know he love. It could blow your head. What I could do to you on bed. I, I was hoping you were still a virgin. No. So yes. Oh, would you like to check it? Check it. Mm -hmm. With what? Yes. Oh, probably your weapon of love. Oh, you're not serious, are you?
Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ah, I promise you it won't. You're back? Obviously. What's wrong with you? You look so old. Is there anything the matter? <clears throat> no, 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 nothing. It's just that you didn't stay long in the village. You ought to have spent more time with the family. Or what do you think? Richie. Hmm? Are you getting tired of me being around you? Because I have spent approximately a month and a half in the village with my people and that doesn't seem enough to you. Come on, Fred. Come on, darling. Don't read meaning into it. Hmm. Please do not allow the enemy come between you and I. Huh? You're supposed to be happy seeing your wife come back home after she travel. Who says I'm not happy seeing you back home? Whenever I state facts, you read unnecessary meanings into them. Okay. Okay, darling. You're welcome. Come on, darling, smile. I meant no harm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God of mercy. Have compassion. You had this is how we carry this. Awesome. Welcome back. Office, a church office, and then anyone could just walk in. And so, I'm we supposed to be lovers. Come oh, on, give me a with me, please. Understand? <laughs> the door is open. Fine, I understand. Whatever. Oh, Pastor. There's a problem. I can't find my period. You said? You heard me, Richie. My flow stopped. Have you gone for a test? Pastor, I am pregnant. I don't need a doctor or a soothsayer to tell me that. Um, so what do we do? Abortion could have been the best thing to do, but as it is, I am very skeptical about it. I don't want to die young. That I can promise you. I, I, I'll get you a very good doctor. I am still very scared. I've heard so much about DNC. Do you know what those guns go through? Damn, I don't want to go through that. Whatever, maybe I'll think about it or something. Look, Whitney, you don't have a choice. Think about me. About the church, the press, the public. Look, just save me from the shame. I beg you in the name of oh, God. Oh, please, leave God out of this. God didn't tell you to have fun, okay, did he? Whatever. I still, I'm, I'm still going to think about it or whatever. I'm confused myself. What do you expect me to do? I don't know how the damn thing happened. I'll talk to you later or something. Bye. Jesus Christ, what am I cutting myself into? Hello. Nico, good afternoon. Why are you crying? I, I went to the doctors today and the doctor said I was pregnant. What did you say? You're pregnant? Oh God, no. Is anybody aware of this? Okay, don't worry. Just don't talk about this with anybody, okay? Just, just promise me. What are we going to do about the pregnancy? Um, uh, we're going to quietly 
and secretly remove it so that nobody will know about it. Oh God, it's abortion. No, Nico, no. It's called a D and C. Huh? Please, I don't want to die. Nico, you will not die. You will not die, Nico. So, I, I'll get you a very professional doctor. But, but please, don't, don't tell mommy and dad about this, okay? Don't even discuss this with the closest friends. Anybody, okay? okay um, how free are you this afternoon? Or late in the evening? How free are you? Good. Why don't you come over to the office? Let, let's talk one on one. Okay. How is she, Doctor? How is she? Calm down. Can't answer my question. Calm down. I, I hope nothing has happened to her. That girl has spent over two hours within the theater. That is contrary to what you told me. You said it will be done within five minutes. Ten minutes stops. Richard, why don't you just sign this? Why? What am I signing for? Look, I don't have time. Sign this. Uh, how can I sign something I don't know about? Okay. The abortion was complicated. There's a perforation in her uterus. She's bleeding seriously and we have to carry out an operation immediately. Oh my God. This is payback time. Um, so what, what, do, what do we do now? She has to be at home today. That's impossible. We have to save her life first. <clears throat> please, please, please. Just sign this and we'll be done, please. please. We'll be done with this. Just sign it. Sign it. Okay. Oh, 
like to see Pastor. Oh, Pastor is not around, but he'll soon be back. Oh, do you want to wait? Yes, I'll wait. I'll wait this. So, how is everything? You seem to be very upset. Is anything the matter? For now, it is highly confidential. But pretty soon, you'll get to know all about it. Oh. Oh, that's him driving in. Honey. Oh, oh yeah. Tonya. Surprise seeing me in your house, eh? <laughs> this is just the beginning for not answering my call. Look, don't start. Richie! Why are you doing this? Why? Richie, I would love to have a um, how to have talk with you. Okay. Come, let's go outside. Destroy my home? Meaning what? Richie! I said meaning it what? Let's go talk outside. Oh, okay, yeah, what is that? Why have you decided not to answer my calls? You don't visit me anymore. You are absolutely nowhere to be found. Countless times I've been to your office only in the bite to see, but to no avail. Okay. Now you've seen me so. Yes, Richie. I am pregnant. Say so what? What did you say? I'm pregnant! No, not for you. I am pregnant! <laughs> what a thing! Tonya, what do we do? There is nothing. Absolutely nothing anybody can do. We are keeping the baby. And for your information, I forbid abortion. And I'm sure you will not suggest that. Look, Tonya, there is no other option. But of course I'll suggest it. But first, go. I'll come and see you at home. Go before my wife comes out. All right. I will go. But remember, no abortion. <laughs> and tell me you will not marry me. God, your case is beyond amendment. Christ! Three girls pregnant with you at the same time. What? Is it food? Oh, Jesus Christ, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, okay, yeah, what is that? Why have you decided not to answer my calls? You don't visit me anymore. You are absolutely nowhere to be found. Countless times I've been to your office only in the bite to see, but to no avail. Okay, now you've seen me so. Yes, Richie. I am pregnant. So what? What did you say? I'm pregnant! No, not for you. I am pregnant! <laughs> what a thing! What do we do? There's nothing, absolutely nothing anybody can do. We are keeping the baby. And for your information, I forbid abortion. 
And I'm sure you will not suggest that. Tonya, there is no other option. But of course I'll suggest it. But first, go. I'll come and see you at home. Go before my wife comes out. All right. I will go. But remember, no abortions. And the doctor said to me, Whitney, you're pregnant. What happened? I'm tired. You seem happy about it. Do you want to keep the baby? Hell no! Not even in the next five years do I want to have a baby. I told Richie about it and he suggested abortion. But I told him I'm skeptical about abortion. I don't want to die young. Abortion could kill you, you know? Yeah. It could even lead to perforation of the uterus. Which may also lead to barrenness. Mm, yeah, you're right. But we may now call you. Eh? You're a big girl. Don't you protect yourself? Yeah, I do. But see, I don't like this rubber to skin thing. I'm not a skin to skin. But, but and, and, and I made a mistake. But you I think I had, I had too many dreams or something. Okay. Then you ought to have been going on contraceptives. Well, I would advise you use travel medical herbs rather than allow a doctor tamper with the body of your uterus with objects. It could be dangerous, you know. But don't worry. Everything will be fine. We'll ta I'll take you to our trade medical doctor for safety reasons, okay? Well, whatever. We just gonna be happy about it. Yeah. Oh, yes, get off my case, okay? <laughs> Let's get me a drink or something. You know, all right. I don't know. I don't know this pregnant stuff. She just I don't even talk about it. Is Nico not back yet? Yeah, for God's sake, look at the time. Where did she say she was going to? I don't know. Possibly she has gone to Pastor Richie's house, I guess. But not to worry, she'll soon be back. At least Pastor Richie should know she's writing her exams tomorrow. She left home with my husband this morning, you know, and he's not yet back, so I wouldn't know if he has dropped her. For God's sake, what type of outing is this? Eh? Pastor should know better than this. That girl is still too young to be outside at this time of the night. And besides, she's starting her school exams tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, maybe it's the traffic or something. I'm sure he probably would have um, dropped her off. I'm not so sure. But why don't you call his mobile? Okay, thank you. I'll do that right away. Pastor Richie took her out since morning. This is terrible. Oh. It's quite unusual. Call his mobile line. Okay.
seen her this week. Isn't she at home? I don't understand. Your wife said you left home with her this morning. She said that? Um, oh, yeah, yes, I I almost forgot. We left home together this morning. I dropped her by the junction. She said she was going to visit a friend and stay with the friend for one week. And, and that you are aware of the development. Yes. Christ. Where on earth will she be? She didn't discuss that with me. Well, I don't know. She said somewhere in the GRO or so. But, I, but I'm sure she's fine, whatever she is. That girl is supposed to be writing her exams tomorrow morning. Fine, fine, mommy. I'll, I'll take her up in school. Possibly, possibly bring her back home. Okay. Please do. God bless you. Oh. Pastor Richie said she told him if she was going to her friend's house somewhere in Jaira that she staying for one week. Hmm? When did that start? And it works perfectly well, though I go on contraceptives too. You sure? Yeah. What about you, Josie? Always on protected sex. Oh, you're right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. See, what if I die in the process? I promise you something. What? A befitting burial. You're crazy, Come on, don't say that. Let's stop that joke. Come on, <laughs> Come on girl. Flush the unwanted out of your system. Yeah. A baby. Come back in the next five years on Earth. Yeah, that's when I'm going to have a baby. Amen. Ooh, it smells awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. Ooh, it smells nice. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. One. 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 Nothing covered that shall not be revealed. But Pastor, we've been to our school. 
is in everywhere. We have been to her schools. And no useful information. The police station. We have even taken her photographs to the television houses. And no information from anywhere. Geo, it is well. It is well. I am sure she is fine wherever she is. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for a short prayer.
we'll get to the uh, with it. Where are your parents? They ought to have been here. We had called them. We had called them? Yes. I'll be able to survive this one. But please promise me, no matter what happens, you're going to forgive Pastor Richie.
girls. Pray nothing happens to my daughter. <laughs> By the way, who impregnated my daughter? That witness is pregnant? Answer me that. Are you aware she is pregnant? Y yes, I am. <laughs> Who is responsible? from you. You are a disappointment. A cause of your calling. God help me. Pray, she survives this. This is what I my daughter to me. Please, God. should take us eating up our system. And we're left with no other alternative but to perform a total hysterectomy. Meaning? I'm afraid we have to remove her womb. No! <laughs> Doctor! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's the best we can do for now. And the earlier it is done, the better. Sorry. 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 Sign this.
My God! Nico! Nico! My God! Nico! 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 Nico. But I'm sure I know the 
this must be a dream How on earth could I have fallen for this old bag of tricks? How on earth could I have thought this when I have eyes to see? That the devil never sleeps, he's just been waiting for me Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh Lord, he's got to be I never ever thought that one day I will end up like this Beyond my father's people, leave me, I am really confused I hear the smoking voice within me say, practice what you preach It's been over two weeks now. I really need you to get the situation behind you. Huh? It's going to be okay. At least you have accepted your mistakes. Debbie, you won't understand. You won't understand. You don't know the pains I'm going through right now. You do. I have killed Debbie. I killed that poor girl and I made her sister barren. God have mercy on me. Richie. <sighs> Richie. Do you believe that the Lord has forgiven you? Yeah, I believe. But for God's sake, I'm a human. I have feelings too. I... Oh God. I know. Richard, do you know? This feelings, this pain, this mood, it's affecting me badly. It is. It's causing me so much pain too. It's hurting me. I just want you to know that everything is going to be fine. <sighs> Deb, I thank God for you. You're truly the sheet that God has given me. There would never have been any better than you for me. Debbie, I really have sinned against you and you really must forgive me. I have forgiven you. Richie, I have. And I'm sure God has too. Is there any that has not sinned against the Lord? Even the Lord says, He who has not sinned, let him cast the first stone. Because all of us have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. But he is able and just to forgive us. He is. Deb. <laughs> there is still something that you don't know about yet that I have to confess to you. Yeah, come in. The door is open. Oh, Brother Maxwell. Maxwell. devil a chance to bring you down like this. Why? This is a total humiliation. Huh? Maxwell. Dry bones shall rise again. Amen. How is the church? Scanty. Almost everybody left. The scandal was too much to be controlled. The remaining will be addressed this Sunday after the board meeting on Saturday. Hey, but, Pastor, why? Why did you give the devil a chance to bring you so low? Why? Why? Such a mess. Maxwell. 
when you see the cloud rising from the west, you think it's going to rain and, and it does. When you feel the south wind blowing, you say it's going to be hot and it does become hot. You can predict the face of the earth. Why then do you not understand the meaning of this present time? Pastor Maxwell, you have to put on the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Um, Richie, there was something you wanted to tell me yesterday before Pastor Maxwell came in. Yes. You know Sister Tonya? Yes, I do. She's, um... She's pregnant for me. This is too much. Richie, why? Richie, why? I, I don't know how, how it happened. I, I, honestly, I'm confused. You're confused about what? God! You mean all this has been happening without me even knowing? What is wrong with you? God, your case is beyond amendment. Christ! Three girls pregnant for you at the same time. What? Is it food? God of mercy! Debbie, don't just calm down. Calm down, please. Let, let's just put our heads together and resolve these problems. After all, you promised me for better, for worse. Really? Well, you cannot marry two, can you? Because your religion says no. So what are you going to do? I, I don't know. That's why I want us to put our heads together. Debbie, please. What do we do? Um, brethren. As it is now, it's no more a hidden secret. So let us let the congregation know of this before it becomes too late. Look, the Bible says that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And if we say we have no sin in us, we lie and the truth is not in us. I am still of the opinion that we forgive Pastor Rich. Pastor Maxwell, there is no point flogging a dead horse. Pastor Richie has abused the anointing of the Holy Spirit vested upon him by Almighty God. Do you realize that? Brethren, it is written that if an eye should cause you to sin, plug it out. For it will be better for you to enter the kingdom of God with an eye than going to hellfire with two eyes. Pastor Richie has spoiled the image of this ministry and therefore it should be plugged out. It is also written, Go ye after the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Look, sending Pastor Richie out of this ministry is like doing more harm than good. I propose we call him back to the, to the church to, to apologize to the entire congregation. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Maxwell, what are you talking about? They said church is a disgrace. I mean, eh, what, is the, what happened to the faith of our women and our begging sisters? Who will fall vulnerable to his land of life? What do you mean? Understand what we are saying. Pastor Maxwell, there are laid down rules governing this ministry, and such rules we must follow. Let he that thinketh to stand take heed lest fall. But for Pastor Richie, I wouldn't be yet seated with you people today, dialoguing. I was with Pastor Richie yesterday. I saw a repented soul. I still stand by the same opinion that, that will forgive Pastor Richie and bring him back to the church. Brethren, let us seek wisdom as regards this issue. I still insist that the congregation should know of this before it's too late. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the perfect manifestation of your glory and power. 
Father, may your grace and kindle in the hearts of those who call thee, Father. And I'll quench them with thirst. Love me, don't you? See. Richie, putting into words how much I love you would only lessen the meaning of it. Now, Tonya, for the sake of the press, the public, the church, and my home. What do we do about your pregnancy? I have told you, there is absolutely nothing we can do about this pregnancy. I'm very skeptical about abortion. Do you want me to die or lose my womb like you did to the Lawson's family? You know about that? Of course, yes. The rumor is everywhere. So, what do you suggest we do? I'm afraid we are now left with no alternative than to get married. Tonya, you know I'm already married. Sorry. You just have to divorce her and marry me. After all, she's still fruitless. Tonya, I can't. That woman is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Nothing can ever separate us. Richie, Richie, look into my eyes and tell me you will not marry me. Tonya, I can't marry two wives. It's against my religion. It's as well as against your religion of committing adultery. That was a mistake I made. And I've prayed for forgiveness. Behold, all things have passed away. All things have become new. You lie. Richie, you lie. Because I'm still in your old and in your new. And for your information, whatever happens to me, all my pregnancy, you will be held responsible. God bless you. I did the best I could. But most of the past most of the pastors were, were stiff headed. We had the pastors meeting yesterday. The bottom line is that they've announced to the entire church congregation that you're no more a member of the ministry. In other words, I've been expelled. God will take control. I don't blame them. No. Maxwell. You've been my assistant for some time now. Three, four years. I want you to be steadfast in your faith. Do the best you can. Don't let yourself down. But most importantly, don't let God down. I'll continue to pray for the church. I'll continue to pray for myself. I want you to do the same for me. Anytime you're chanced, 
Let's come on. Let's share the word together, okay? Forgiveness, Lord, my love, forgive me, I am dying in shame. Take me now to Lord, I thank you when I call on your name. See the shackles in my life, Lord, oh, come break the chains. Let me lose your grace, I seek to put me back on your train. In my mind, the clouds are falling, oh, I wish it would rain. Bring on me the peace of mind and body, oh, Lord, I pray. I promise you this time I'll keep away from the back again. All the sins that I committed, Lord, please put down. you doing in my house? What are you doing here? Get out! All right. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry, sir. My wife and he, I were here the other day, but you were not around. I really am very sorry. I know I've sinned against this family, against God, and against my calling. There is no sin worse than that which I've committed. I, I know it's very hard to forgive me, but I beg you in the name of God, the God that we serve, I, I beg you to please forgive me. Have mercy on me, please. Richard, get out of my house. You hear me? Get out! Just go! I am I'm no longer comfortable with this. Sir. Please. Just go. Forgive me, I am dying in chain. Save me now, so Lord, I beg you when I call on your name. See the shackles in my life, Lord, oh, come break these chains. Let me lose your grace, I seek to put me back on your train. In my mind, the clouds are forming, oh, I wish it will rain. Bring on me the peace of mind and body, oh, Lord, I pray. I promise you the star I'll keep you awake, will do back again. All the sins that I've committed, Lord, please put them away. Father, you said in your word that the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by you, the Almighty. Father, order my steps right from this minute. Let me pray for every appearance of the devil, oh Father. From every appearance of sin, O Lord Jesus Christ, order my steps, O Lord Jesus Christ, order my steps, protect me, do with me what thou will, O Father in heaven, send to the Lord, send to the Lord, send to the Lord, send to the Lord, send to the I come to you with supplication, O Lord Jesus Christ, do with me what thou will, Father. Do with me what the Lord will choose for us. Sit down, Father. Let the Holy Spirit fire me. Leave me my place to forge your head of me. I know the sin of the Lord Jesus Christ. But do with me what thou will. Do with me what thou will. 
do with me what God willing. Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen. Please, I'd like to see Richie. You've been Pastor Richard Okafo? Yes, whatever. Well, he has gone out. Is there any problem? Of course there's a problem. Can I know what the problem is? <laughs> that is the exact reason why I'm here. And in case you don't know, I'm carrying Richie's baby. I'm already aware of that. You are? Yeah. Yeah, I am. And you know, I really want to beg you to keep it. Because Richie needs it, you know. <laughs> we need it. What happens to me? You love Richie, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I love him. You marry him? I mean, you know. What happens to you? I'll gladly divorce him. You know, because we need the baby you're carrying in you right now so much. <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult, but I have no choice. I love Richie so much, so I love you and pray for you, for your union. Oh. Richie is a very loving husband, but the devil took advantage of his slumber. I just hope, I pray, that you do not regret your love in him. Oh. Oh my God. Oh God. Anna. I'm so confused. Oh God. Sister Debbie. Oh no. See, no. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to keep the baby anymore. Please, I'm so sorry. I've, I've, I've changed my mind. I, I never offended you so much. And then, please, I never knew you're such a nice woman. Oh, God. Please forgive me. I won't keep the baby. But why? Don't tell me you're going to. You're definitely going to abort the baby. I'm left with no choice here. Don't you get it? I can't have the baby for Richie. For Christ's sake, he's your husband. Sister Tonya, we want to thank God that you have realized your mistake. But this is coming rather too late. And you see, we need that baby you're carrying in you so much, which he needs it. And you cannot kill a baby that is a soul. And the Bible says that the soul that sinned it will die. You cannot kill. Oh my God. That baby is already a soul in you. your parents. We don't. Why? Your dress sense is bad. Oh, call that shirt, Dad. This is 20th century. We ought to dress like this. 
Whitney, are you not? In this street hawker's dress? Excuse me. Whitney, talk to your dad. I demand an apology. In my own house? You two, get out of my house! Sir, we will leave. But for your interest, learn how to talk to someone else's children. Time for some. Wow, my girls are hot. And where do you, Whitney, think you're going to? I'm going out to have some fun with my girls. Now go straight into your room. For what? After embarrassing me in front of my friends, now you want me to obey your command in front of them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going out to have some fun, Dad. Can I have my car keys? Why? Come on, Dad. What are you protecting? A child with no womb? What are you scared of? Don't worry, okay? Your pretty girl is not going to get pregnant anymore. Never. But please, just, just allow her to go out and have fun. Like you know, I've got my own life to live now. With me. We have to talk. At least, like father and daughter. Dad, save it to when I get back. See, my daddy and W. Bush are childhood friends, all right? So he decided to name me after the friend. For real? Whatever, I'm Whitney. Whitney? Mm -hmm. What a beautiful name, big Whitney. So, Hunter, um, what do you want from me? You know what I want. I don't know, tell me. That you can play a game, all right? You feel me? You feel me, right? I feel you, but not so soon. Come on, dog, don't go faster than your shadow. You don't know me, do you? Look, I'm with you, not a call girl. If you want a bitch, go suck my ass. Hey, bitch, you sit on bitch. You want another bitch? And hey, you papa, you papa the dog. What's up with you, girl? I? Okay, dog. Uh-uh, now uh, I feel you totally. You feel me, right? I'm afraid, dog. I think I'm gonna like you. For real? Mm-hmm. You don't suck, man. I'm taking out tonight. What about that? I don't know, man. My friends are just trying to... Get high before we roll into the party. So I'm going to take you out to the beautiful places tonight, alright? Alright. You got that? No I give it a real fun. I'm going to be Let's join the party, okay? For real, man. Where are you going? We came here from here. The party's in there. Come on, man. I don't want to come and get to the bedroom. Baby. He gave me strength to leave When life had no meaning He listened when I called And showed me so much love Oh, he made the blind to see He made the deaf to hear He's God Almighty the Alpha Omega You are the sun You are the rain You are everything Oh love I will grace thee Almighty God For the works of your hand You lifted me out From my troubles You've given me strength Overcome, 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 overcome For this 
The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abided among the wise. <clears throat> The ear that heareth the reproof of life abided among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. Dad, half yeah. more the newspapers I've read recently have Pastor Richie and their front pages. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. He's been evangelizing and performing miracles. And you believe in those miracles? Yeah. There is absolutely nothing God cannot do. You see, I envy him. He's a man of faith. The greatest strength of a man is his ability to rise when he falls. In spite of all the scandals, he never lost his focus. Even when all rejected him, he continued his ministry in the streets. Surely, God must have forgiven him his sins, no matter what kind of sin he committed. Good day, everyone. Ah, talk of the devil. May the peace of the Lord reign in this home. Amen. Amen. Uh, sir, please, I would like to have some few minutes with, with me, if you don't mind. Yeah, we don't. You can have her. So, Pastor Gigi, what anointing do you have for me today? With me. Mm -hmm. The anointing I have for you today is that you must be born again. Your life must transform into the life of Christ. With me. My greatest joy will be to see you preaching the word of God. And I promise you, your joy and miracles shall know no bound. Can we? In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Father, you sent your word to me, and I have done so. Let your word transform our life into righteousness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
This is me, Whitney Omonala Lawson, all right? Come on, girl, I've come to take you out. I'm sorry, Bush, it's not going to be possible because I am cooking right now and afterwards I'll be going for evangelism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're a funny type, right? It's a beautiful I, place. I am not joking, Bush. Can't you guys see that I am now a new creator? All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Preach on preach! See, I know this might sound funny to you, but I am not true, Kim. Bush, Jersey, Kelly, including you, Kim, there's really ever need for you guys to change the kind of lifestyle you're living right now. There's no profit in smoking, drinking, sleeping around town, all in the name of fun. The only joy and happiness you can get is when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That is what I have done, and I want you guys to do the same. Okay, fine. <laughs> let, let me just take it easy on you right now, but I'll see you guys on Saturday for a much deeper talk. Sorry, okay. sorry, let's go, let's go. Okay, come on, come on. but I really appreciate you guys checking on me. You know, you know, I know you can't listen. See, you I... don't understand. You don't understand. We can no longer be together as we used to. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. With me. Bye. With you. Thanks for checking on me. Take care. Okay. All right, all right, let's get the hell out of here. What are you guys waiting for? Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go do this shit ourselves. Let's go! Hey, motherfucker, get this thing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because if I told you the reason why I'm smiling, you won't scream down this house. Well, if the need doesn't arise. Okay. Richie, you're going to be a father. How do you mean? The Lord has done it. The Lord has blessed us. I am now a proud woman. You? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Richie. The Lord has replaced my womb. And he has blessed us with the fruit of the womb. I am two months pregnant. <laughs> I mean, how, how did you get to get Well, you know, okay, well, I started to feel, you know, very strange inside of me. And then I went to the hospital. And then the doctor asked me to go for an ultrasound scan. And when I did, they, they told me that my boom had been replaced. And that a baby was growing, growing inside it. Mom! <laughs> this is all I prayed for. God, I thank you. <laughs> I have a question. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> 
good for me. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. God, I love you. I love you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. How did I do? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of the transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. But righteousness delivered from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Yes, the, the, yes, come in. The door is open. <laughs> May the peace of the Lord be upon this household in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Uh, make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, I have come to testify to the glory of God, for he has done us beautifully well. He has blessed us with the fruit of the womb. What? My wife is pregnant. Hallelujah. 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 Um, Whitney, please kneel. Whitney, I say to you, today the Lord shall restore your womb. Amen. For he that created you had a spare part for every part of you. Amen. And today the Lord shall restore your womb in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Receive. It is well. She's alright, sir. She's, she's, she's okay. With me. Come on. Come on, it's okay, it's all right. Come on. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Darling, tell me what happened. Take a look at this. At first, I could not believe it, so I went for another ultrasound scan. I still could not believe it. I went for another one, and another one. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! God has done it. Hallelujah! I can now have a baby. Oh God! Hallelujah! Oh, God. Praise God!